Alright guys, my name is Amelia Goblin and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own skeleton army in Skyrim. First thing we need to do is go to the mod menu, actually. So in order for this to work, you're going to need, obviously, if you're playing on console, you're going to need Skyrim Special Edition to download this mod. If you're on PC, you know, you can do whatever you want. Download this mod. The mod is called Ordinator Perks of Skyrim. Um, basically, what it, it's um, it's a moderate uh, it's a moderate mod. It's a, it's a small mod, but it has astronomically game-changing effects. If you want a full kind of well extended preview on that mod, I do have a video on my channel. For this we're going to be wor uh, focusing on the Conjuration Tree. Now the Conjuration Tree adds this perk, which allows you to create a skeleton army. So let's jump back into the game. So what you're going to need is this, uh, this perk, it's basically called Bone Collector. As soon as you have this perk, you'll start to find that when you kill enemy humanoid characters, I think it is literally only humanoids, they will, this could be a guard, it could be bandit, anything that's human, they'll start dropping bone parts. And what you're going to have to do is collect each individual bone part, you know, your arm, right arm, left arm, ribcage, pelvic, legs, you know, all that kind of jazz. And then you're going to um, put all these bones together in a bone altar. So let's quickly show... Let's quickly show that. So I'm going to... Uh, the reason my FPS is a little crappy at the moment. I don't really know. Okay, so what I need to do is kill something. Um, unfortunately, using a, I'm going to pause a sec while I kill something. So I just set my conjure destruction skill to about 2,000 and end up killing all these guards. So as you can see, as I loot these um, guards, I'm going to find, I've got a left foot here, I've got a left leg, and a right hand, and a skull. So you start collecting these bone parts from enemy NPCs, and then you can put them all together into this bone altar, which the mod will literally add the bone altars to the game, it will add actual places to the game, and you put them all together, and it basically creates a skeleton. I'll show some footage of that on the screen. Um, so you will start creating skeletons. Um, I'll actually be able to uh, show you the footage of us creating skeletons at the bone altar right now. So, I do, did actually have a couple summoned, but when I was collecting footage and I, I accidentally killed them, um, you can actually, if you kill them manually yourself, um, they will actually die. We'll talk about that in a little bit, a little second. So, right now I'm using this bone altar. When you advance further down the tree, you get the option to create skeletal warriors or skeletal mages. For now, the default is skeletal warriors. Um, is this guy going to stop doing this animation? Okay, so I got one. Should be able to get another one. I can, uh, and I can get two. You are. Um, it isn't limitless. It is dependent on your magicka count. So per 75 points of ma magicka. You will get an extra, you can summon an extra skeleton. But these um, skeletons, are, let's summon one more actually. If I can, can I summon one more? I could probably summon one more. Sum, I'll summon as much as I can. As you can see right now, when I click it, if I try and click it, it says maximum number of skeletons reached. So right now I can summon three skeletons. If I had more Magicka, say for instance, if I type in player dot, dot set a v -G. Sorry, my, my wires are kind of in the way of my keyboard to get my microphone closer to the, well, me. Say, let's set this to like 50,000 or something. Um, I can probably summon more. There you go. So, the more Majiki you have, the more you can summon. That's what I'm basically trying to demonstrate. And as you can see, my conjuration skill goes up each time you do it, which is another cool thing. So, right now, I've got... Four skeletons. These skeletons, they don't act as a summon, so you can also, let's, where's my quick bar menu? I've also got like, okay, summon scamp. The mod will also add uh, new um, summoning spells like this summon scamp spell, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I can summon the scamp, and it's not counted towards my conjuration limit. They are counted as uh, basically followers, and when uh, so for instance, I whack one, actually it's not working. But they they will die. Uh, some obviously occasionally die in combat. But when they die in combat, they can basically they will just go down like a follower, and you'll be able to 
thought they'll just stand back up and start fighting again. If you manually kill them yourself, so you've got to be careful if you're using destruction or if you're using archery, do not shoot your own skeletons. Um, if you manually kill them yourself, then they will die, they will be obliterated. But um, you can basically pick up the bones back and go back to the bone altar and make a new one, so it isn't that much of a loss. As you can see right now, I'm just going to show you them in combat. You can actually command them. If you go up to them and say, uh, press E, basically you have all follow, all stay, all fight, follow, stay. And then that's just, I don't know what shove means. I think shove means probably just move them out of the way if they're in your way in a narrow corridor. But if I just click all fight, they will automatically all fight, but um, as you can see, they're having a knocking out these bandits. It's pretty dope. Um, that's pretty much all I can show you. Any more bandits to kill? I think there is actually. I don't think you can... So for instance, like if I'm running up to a fight like this, I can just run back. My skeletons will sort them out. And I can do whatever I want. It, it kind of gives you the ability to basically only level Conjuration. And you will not need to level anything else. You can just level Conjuration. And we'll also with Ordinator, I'll just quickly talk about this. You, you do get uh, interesting spells which... For instance, basically boost the damage of your of your summoned allies, and also weaken. There's, there's, this is one that tags enemies, and then each time you're summoned, um, things attack it. Basically, do extra damage, something like that. Anyway, but anyway, I'm gonna end the video there. Be sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna be featuring more videos talking about this Ordinator perk mod because it is quite a big mod. It's gonna take quite a few videos. Excuse me to get rid uh, to get through and um, a lot of interesting things with this mod. So uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to be working on how to turn Skyrim into a superhero game. So look forward to that. My name is the Medicable. Until my next video, ciao.